Hello guys, you're watching Mac Tutorial Films. I'm Arian, and today I'll be showing you how to do ramped slow mo in Adobe After Effects. So let's go over here and import our file. And let's go over here and drag the file into our composition. And this is how the video looks like. Let's just cut it down a little bit. It's too long. Right here's good. Alright, now what we're going to do is, we're going to right click, we're going to go to time, we're going to enable time ramping, and this should show up. You should see two keyframes at the beginning and the end of the video clip. Now since we're ending our video right there, let's drag the uh, last one all the way here, so it matches up with the end of the clip, since we cut it out. Alright, if you want to cut out some of this, we can do it too. So let's cut it out to here and drag this there yeah there we go alright now let's go over here and we're gonna go to the add and remove keyframe at the current time so what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag your playhead on the uh, on the area where you want it to start time ramping so right here looks like a good spot uh, so I'm gonna add one this is to start the ramp slow-mo and then to end it we're gonna add another one so I want to end it right here looks good so let's add another one and it'll look like this so you have two points the beginning and the end of the ramp slow mo now let's go over here to the graph editor and if your uh, graph does not look like mine then uh, go to the settings you probably you don't have it uh, correctly checked so we're going to go over here and make sure you have edit speed graph selected because uh, if yours looks like this then uh, that's probably why we're going to go to edit speed graph and uh, you'll have four four points which is the uh, beginning the end and then the slow motion let's make this a little bigger okay and right here is going to be the slow motion now what we're going to do is we're going to hold down to shift and we're going to drag the the last fourth of the points because there are four points and we're going to drag the last part of the clip click and hold sh shift click and hold and then drag to the right and it'll make it slower at the longer you go the slower the clip will be so this is how it look like and we'll go back to normal now the whole point of ramp slow-mo is so the video will not be uh, you know at a normal speed and then go slow motion and then back to the normal speed it gradually gets slower and then gradually gets faster so it, it, it kinda goes in like a, in a rhythm so that's what we're trying to do and we're gonna go over here and hold on to shift and we're gonna click and hold to the box and drag it upward right here looks good like but it has to be below the line so make sure it does not go above the uh, the normal speed. Uh, we're gonna fix this because this goes up. So we're just gonna fix this by click just without shift, just click and drag down back to the uh, normal speed. We're gonna do the same thing with this one. Uh, we're gonna click and hold and grab onto this dot. Sh uh, hold on to shift while you're holding it, and it should line up automatically. Let's just drag this down. So match. Okay, there you go. And you should see a little curved line. Kind of looks like an invert ramp. And uh, that's how it looks like. So as you see, it, as it goes, it gets slow, 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 and then goes back up. Slowly gets faster and faster and faster. So that's what ramp slow mo is. And um, let's go back. Let's get out of the graph editor, and this is how it looks like. Let's review it before we export it. Yeah, that's pretty much it. All right. So then let's go over here to file and export it. I'm going to export it as a QuickTime movie. Okay. Uh, let's give it a name. I'm just going to call it Ramp Slow Mo. And I'm just going to save it to my desktop. And that's pretty much it. Alright, so when it's done exporting, uh, I'll show you how it looks like. Okay, if you have any questions, please ask. Um, don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.